All right, Shalom. I'm going to start out by giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, by Shema, by Shah, by Shema, Kakodash, the bonus of the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, and Shalom to all the Akim out there pushing the word of sincerity and the truth. It's the Brother Barzar from Great Millstone, Atlanta, and I just want to um, do this lesson on knowing your, your place in the body. You know, this is uh, extremely important, you know, for us brothers in the faith, you know, uh, as brothers in camps, you know, especially younger brothers uh, coming into, to, um, you know, the, the the body of a uh, great millstone and the body of these uh different camps and, and to know your place you know know where you function at in the body you know whether you're a, a greater uh brother whether you take the lion's portion which for the most part you know already know through the spirit um head brothers they take that role or whether you're a, a lesser brother you know and, and in most cases most brothers you know that come in the truth they would be they would seem uh they would be somewhat lesser until they grow and elevate to, to the point where they can take on more things. And just because you're lesser does not mean you're insignificant. That's the importance, you know, because some men will uh, come into camp and they have a hands in their pocket mentality. You know, not all men, of course, but some men that just don't know their role, you know, and they kind of, you know, they kind of have a, a level of, um, you know, they, they have a wandering mind when it comes to what what should they do? You know, how should they, um, you know, how should they deal amongst the brotherhood? You know, and, um, you know, you have a role. You have to, you know, find your place in the body at the end of the day. Now, of course, you have head brothers that tell you and, and dictate to a certain degree what you what you have to do to work in the faith. And in, in, in this ministry, you know, you uh, deal deal and such. You know, because really when you first come in, you, you want to be a, a low sheep. You know, you just mainly want to read, study, you know, uh, gain more understanding, you know, learn the patterns and the movements of, of brethren around you to know how you uh, fit in, you know. And that's the that's uh, on your, your downtime. And even when you're at camp, you know, to uh, hold signs, make sure that you're uh, active. You know, if you're not reading it or teaching it, most times if you're a brother that's first coming in, you're not going to read and teach. Make sure you're holding signs or, or figuring out what you could do to always stay, to always stay up, 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 beating up tick, you know, because through idleness, you know, that's where you um, start to, to veer off and you venture from the faith, you know. And I have this image right here where it shows the different faculties of the uh, human body and the different uh, systems. You have the and in, in, into Gumentary system. I'm pretty sure I butchered that, but um, you have the skeletal, you have the muscular, the nervous, the endocrine, and the cardiovascular. And I pulled this picture up because it's extremely important, you know, and shows you the different parts of the body and how, you know, they all they're all significant. You need each and every system in order for a body, which the word bo body goes back to the word uh, bodig, which means house. You need each and every uh, system in order for the body to uh, work and, uh, uh, you know, function pop properly. And even within, you know, within these different systems, you still have majors, you still have minors, you know, just like in the, the muscle system. You have major muscles, you know, and you have minor muscles, you know, and if, if some of your minor muscles is, is damaged, you know, you you can, uh, you know, it's damn near impossible to use. Your major muscles, you know, likewise, if, if major muscles or your, your um, nervous system or your skeletal system or uh, any parts of your body starts to break or dysfunction, then that can shut down the whole um, the whole body or it will make it where the body doesn't function as well as it ought, ought to. You know, so brothers in the faith, you know, you have to know where you stand in the body and you have to be the best. Uh, best you that you can be within the body just like if you're you have a body you want strong muscles you don't want to just have muscles that's all dilapidated and, and weak you know the stronger the muscles the more the uh, uh the more workload you could carry all right the more endurance the more stamina that you could have you see what i'm saying all these things are uh pivotal pivotal pieces when it comes to um the the body of uh yahweh bashim yahweh you know, and the scriptures is going to go into the administrations, you know, and it shows you how everybody has a specific piece and a specific uh, role within uh, this this truth. So this is first Corinthians 12 and four. It says now there are di diversity diversities of gifts, 
but the same spirit. And there are differences of ministrations, but the same Lord. And there are diversities of operations, but it is the same power which worketh all in all. But the manifestation of the spirit is given to every man to profit with all. Right. So even in the faith, we're, we're a diverse, uh, diverse brothers, so to speak. All brothers don't watch the same thing. All brothers don't like the same music. All brothers don't teach the same. All brothers don't have the same level of understanding. You know, all brothers don't have the same level of faith. All brothers don't have the same level of humility, you know. But when you're in the, the body, you, one thing that you can do to always grow is gauge the men around you and see their faith levels, you know, see their, their level of um, present, uh, you know, being all, always present and uptick. And, and like the scripture says, covet the, covet the best gifts because that is a gift. It's, it's, as it is written, faith is a gift, you know. So when you see a man that's that's oozing with faith, you know, in order to to uh, build your faith, you have to uh, get more closer to that brother. You know, pay attention to how he operates and how he moves within the um, the truth, and uh, emulate. You know, now of course you can't fully imitate because that will make you a mockingbird. But you you take the 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 good qualities and the good natures that a man has, and you introduce it to yourself so that you can become a a, a better brother. Or, or a stronger piece to the uh, function of this truth. So it says, but the manifestation of the spirit is given to every man to profit with all. Right. So it's manifest that we know that the, the knowledge starting out with the apostles and elders on down, you know, and it's, it's for us to profit. You see, and we can profit. That's why you have to know your ability. You have to be fully aware of, of who you are in this body. And, and, and at the end of the day, you have to tap more into the spirit of your Habash Yamal Shah. If you don't know the role that you play within the truth, you have to pray more, man. You definitely have to pray more to uh, be a, a peace. And like I said, through the spirit, you know, you have elder brothers and you have teachers and, and brothers that's uh, in the position of leadership to give you uh, guidance and to show you what role that you, you uh, play within the function of this truth. You know, whether you're doing your upload, uploading videos or uploading uh videos on the main uh, page, whether you're over the, you know, certain camp uh, items, you know, whether you're, um, you know, whatever, whatever uh, function that you actually have. There's so many uh, diversifications like here in our camp, you know, everybody has a specific role so that there's no uh, idle hands, you know. And if, if you're a brother that, do that doesn't have a role, like I said, you can still be active. There's still tons of things that you could do to keep your spirit upbeat like i said reading praying growing you know and as you grow by and by you're going to see what role that you play and, and and max out in it but it says for to one is given by the spirit the word of wisdom yeah because some brothers can expound on a a, a, a diversification of things and, and subject topics that all men can't you know that's that's the spirit of wisdom and really uh wisdom is uh the application also because uh, one brother may know how to apply more than another brother, but another brother might know more than another brother. That's why it says to another, the word of knowledge, because you have some brothers that have that word of knowledge and they have a um, versatility to the understanding of this word by the same spirit. And it all comes through Yahweh Shah, Yahweh Shah, Bashem Kakudash. To another, the faith. Yeah, and, and the belief, you can't, you can't uh, um, copy that. You can't mimic that. Like when Yahweh Shah asked the different men, uh, who do you believe I am? You know, it was all according to their faith level. He was really gauging their spirit. And you see, um, Peter, he had a high amount of faith. That's why he was the head of the church. He may not have knew as much as all the other disciples or things of that nature. Maybe he did. I'm just saying for an example. But his level of faith was extremely important for him to carry a big portion of the ministry. You see? That's why even Peter, James, and uh, John, they were, they were known as the pillars in the faith. All right, it says, by the Spirit to another, the gifts of healing by the same Spirit. Yeah, and you have certain brothers that, that play a role with the, the, the Spirit of healing. Knowing herbs, knowing how to take care of uh, the body, putting out, uh, like we have a health chat. You know, not to go into too many too much information of what we have, but, you know, we that's one thing that we do stay on top of is, is is speaking and communicating about health and things that better our body so that we can actually you know have more longevity within this faith you know and our bodies are working 
you know, um, properly, you know, and, and like I said, you might not be a brother that that is is great in everything, but what you're good in is still an asset to the to the uh, to the to the brotherhood. So it says to another the working of miracles, to another prophecy. You see, and uh, you got some brothers that's heavy in that prophecy, man. You know, he might not be have the gift of uh, healing. He might not have the gift of uh, of the word of knowledge, and really, you know, you have some brothers that have multiple uh, gifts. You see. Because what they cultivated and they they uh, coveted, like the scripture says, the best gifts, and and in turn they they developed those qualities of being a, a brother of of, uh, of faith, a brother of knowledge, wisdom. You see, a brother of prophecy and miracles. It says to another the discerning of spirits, to another diverse kinds of tongues, which you have brothers. Uh, that, that speak multiple languages. All brothers don't have that diversity of tongue, but that's a gift too, because you can uh, bring men from different uh, foes and different, um, you know, you know, different languages and different um, eth ethnic, I wouldn't say ethnic backgrounds, but different, uh, or, you know, races as people know it today, you know, whether it's uh, Mexicans or, or Latin speaking tribes or, or you know, the hate, you know, Haitian speaking, you know, brothers, that's a, uh, that's a, that's a quality in itself. So it says to another, the interpretation of tongues and some brothers know how to interpret, you know, the tongues, but all these work of that one in the self same spirit dividing to every man severally as he will. For as the body is one and hath many members and all the members of that one body being many are one are one body, so also is Yahweh Shah. Right. So every brother has a function. And like I said, some brothers might have a, a greater portion, but at the end of the day, it all works out for the betterment of this ministry. Because at the end of the day, it's not for us to be worshipped or praised for our gifts and qualities. It's all to bring in the flock of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah. That's the story of the talents. All right. And it also goes into the virgins, you know, the virgins that woke up and they was uh, had the oil. The oil represents this word also. So it says, for by one spirit are we all baptized into one body, whether we be Jew or Gentile, whether we be bond or free, and have been all made to drink into one spirit. For the body is not one member, but many. If the foot shall say, because I am not the hand, I am not the hand, I am not of the body, is it therefore not of the body? And if the ear shall say, because I am not the eye, I am not of the body. Is it therefore not of the body? Right. And you have lesser, lesser uh, portions and the, the ear and the eye are extremely important. You know, the foot, the hand, the, the fingernails, every little thing on your go without your fingernails, go without your eyes, go without your ears. See how um, see how good your body is going to function. You know, you're going to be depressed because you're going to see that those parts of your body are, are extremely pivotal pivotal for whether your senses whether um just your whole makeup so and it's the same thing with uh the body of Yahweh Hashem Shah. so even brothers you shouldn't even look at yourself as being less than or being insignificant the the role that you play is a big pivotal role and you have to max out in it if the whole body were an eye where were the hearing if the whole were hearing where were the smelling yeah, and every brother can't be the same thing too. You know, every brother can't be the, the eyes. Every brother can't be the, the hearing. Every brother can't be the smelling, you know. But you need all of these for the body to be, like it says, the whole body. But now had the most I set the members, every one of them in, it, in the body as it hath pleased him. And if they were all one member, where were the body? But now are they many members, yet but one body, and the I cannot say unto the hand, I have no need of thee, nor again the head to the feet, I have no need of thee. Nay, much more those members of the body which seem to be more feeble are necessary. Yes, yeah, so the feeble uh, portions of the body are extremely necessary for this truth. And those members of the body which were think to be less honorable, upon these we bestow more abundant honor, and our uncomeless, comely parts have more abundant comeliness. But for our comely parts have no need, but the most have tempered the body together, having given more abundant honor to that part which is lacked. Right. So, you know, at the end of the day, like I said, you you in the, the function of this truth, don't look at yourself as less than 
see where you fit in, see where you're placed in the body and be the best piece of the body as you could possibly be. And pray that the Most High can give you more gifts, give you more quality so that you can always, uh, like the scripture says, abound. You know, and it says, if these things abound in you and make you say, say, so you shall never be barren nor unfaithful in the knowledge of Yahweh Shema Shah. You know, and this is just something I had. It's still a little bit more uh, where it just still goes into the different functions of the body and how we're all extremely important, you know, starting off with the apostles and the pro like I said, the prophets, the miracles, the healings, governments, tongues, you know, and but it says at the end of the day in the 31st verse to cover the, the best gifts, you know, which it really are all, you know, and really the first is the prophesy. Prophesying is really the uh is is extremely uh important gift. You know, so you, you pray that you could be the best brother that you could be. You know, and um, you know, hopefully brothers edified them anybody giving all praise and glory to Yahweh by Shema Shah by Shemra Kakodash, the bonus of the Apostle and Elders of Great Millstone. Shalom on my